Hello. I am Dale Husband, the Honorable Skeptic, and today I am also a very angry skeptic. Less than a week ago, it was revealed that Blizzard slash Activision, one of the largest and most respected video game companies in the world, was hit with a massive lawsuit alleging acts of sexual harassment and discrimination against its female employees. While the company has officially denied any wrongdoing, hundreds of Blizzard employees have affirmed the merit of the lawsuit. This affects me personally, because I started playing World of Warcraft in 2011 and it became a huge part of my life. In a while I was known as Bikoric and my main character was a female Gnome Warrior. I started playing during the Cataclysm expansion and also enjoyed Mists of Pandaria. But then came Warlords of Draenor, which disappointed me with both its storyline and its lack of content compared to earlier expansions. Then WoW redeemed itself with a Legion expansion, which ended with the total defeat of the Burning Legion, the planet Azeroth's greatest threat, and I assumed that would be the end of WoW. Wrong. Blizzard released another expansion called Battle for Azeroth in which the opposing factions of the Alliance and the Horde went into a total war against each other, bringing devastation to their world. I bought that expansion, but I never liked it. Then I learned of another expansion called Shadowlands in which we would be invading the realm of the afterlife. Seriously? At that point, I called it quits. This was easy to do since I had started playing another Blizzard game, Overwatch. Overwatch was totally different from World of Warcraft, but I loved it too and began playing it almost every day. I loved playing characters like D, Viat, Anna, Soldier 76 and Reaper, among others. But hearing about this lawsuit and the upper accompanying it means I can no longer give any financial support to Blizzard in its present form. So I insist on Blizzard doing two things before I buy anything from it again. 1. It needs to completely end its partnership with Activision. 2. Its current leadership must be replaced with new personnel not associated with the scandal. I have pledged to never subscribe to World of Warcraft again, and I will also play Overwatch a lot less until Blizzard is reformed to stop its abuses and learn how to prevent such sexist acts in the future. Blizzard can do better, it's time to make them do so.